Hi, I'm Todd Soames, Golf Magazine Top 100 Teacher. I'm here at White Deer Run in Vernon Hills, Illinois, where my golf school is located, to talk to you today a little bit about belly putting. Obviously, a ton of tour players are using belly putters, and a lot are practicing that you don't even see. Here's some things about belly putting that I'm noticing amateurs make mistakes with. The first thing is, belly putting is conventional putting. If I take my conventional putter and set up to it, the keys are set up tilted forward from your hips, so that your eyes come to rest over the golf ball, so that your hands come to rest under your shoulders, and the shaft runs through your forearms. So if I set up to a belly putter, it should be exactly the same. I'm tilted forward from the hips, my hands are under my shoulders, my eyes are over the golf ball, and the shaft again is through my forearms. So there's a setup, whether it's belly or conventional. Here's some mistakes that I'm seeing amateurs make. First of all, they buy a belly putter off the shelf and they don't know how to set up to it or what length they need. If the putter's too long for the player, they can't tilt forward enough and then their hands are outside of their shoulders. If it's too short for the player, they tilt forward too far and then their hands are inside of their shoulders. And you actually will putt worse with a belly putter that doesn't fit you than with a conventional putter. So make sure you're fitted. The other thing is, once you're fitted, make sure the belly putter is securely into your stomach, just left your belly button so that when it swings back and forth, it's not loose. If it's loose, you won't control the club face. There are some tips for you that will help you with belly putting. If you do those things, you could be amazed at how much better you could putt on the green. Thanks, Todd. If you take a great golf course like Flossmoor Country Club and put the state's top mid-amateurs on it, players age 25 or older, then you have the makings of a first-rate tournament. Our Dave Lockhart has his story. Flossmoor Country Club is rich in history and was recently anointed Renovation of the Year. A record 238 amateurs attempted to qualify for the 54-hole Mid-Amp Championship, including Glenview's Kyle Nathan. The golf course is unbelievable. The uh, unbelievable shape, very difficult. The greens were extremely fast, very firm too, which made it hard to get shots close. So it was, I mean, pristine shape. Flossmoor's always had uh, a history of doing amateur tournaments and uh, with the CDGA, in our association with the amateur uh, body here in Illinois, we're very pleased to be able to host the Mid-Am for the last two years and next year also. After a bobby first day of the Mid-Am, day two proved to be much cooler and more of a struggle for the players. One of the main contenders was 45-year-old Glenn Prisbilski, who's a former winner of the Illinois Pub Links Championship. Uh, yesterday was a south, uh, south wind and uh, temperatures in the 80s, so the ball was actually going a little bit further. Uh, today with the north winds, uh, you just had to play some different shots. Golf course basically played totally different. It's really a grinding type round and uh, I knew it was going to be that way which you know helps ease the fear of making double or two or, and uh, you know you just have to hope you can make some putts for the birdies. A couple of wily 50 plus year players continue to post good scores. Rick Tenbrook of Beverly showing off his sand skills here on number 15 where he got up and down for an ice par. Dave Ryan of Downstate Taylorville has a tenacity for grinding out and making lots of putts for par, just like this one on 16. But it came down to a two-horse race with former professional mini-tour player Kyle Nathan and his playing partner Glenn Prisbilski. He started out with a three-shot lead and I made birdie on one to cut it, but then he made a couple birdies on the front and I figured he's going to be pretty much out in front and then all of a sudden I made three out of the four birdies on the back to start off so it made it interesting he had a couple little stumbles uh, down there to make it even closer and uh, it was just a lot of fun. Things were tight with these two all day long when Prisbilski sank this bomb on 18 for par it put a scare into Nathan momentarily however it would not be enough as Nathan made a routine par securing his first ever CDGA win in becoming the Mid-Am champion. It was a lot of fun. I mean, that's why we sign up for these kind of tournaments is for that excitement uh, in the end, you know, and that was, uh, you know, definitely got the heart rate going and uh, a little shaking in the hands, so that was good. It was a lot of fun. Flossmore proved once again that it's certainly a great test of golf as no one was able to shoot par better in the final round. It does identify your best player as, I think, uh, you know, with the small greens and the firmness of the surfaces and, and um, you know, the tough par fours, the best players always end up winning. By the way, Kyle Nathan grew up in Winnetka, Illinois and played college golf at the University of Maryland. Well, get ready to go from the state's top male players 
to the best female players in the world. Up next, we head to the Dairy State and preview the upcoming United States Women's Open.